In this tutorial, we'll solve your bootstrap hamburger menu not working. All right, so I have a simple example here. So for me, it's working. If it's not working for you, the most likely reason that I've seen so far is because you're not linking to the correct bootstrap version or you're doing something weird with um, including bootstrap in your project. So most of you uh, that have this problem are probably linking to popper.js. You need to remove that because in bootstrap 5, you can go to the bootstrap website and they will show you the latest version. We're in Bootstrap 5 now, and there are only two links that you have to include. So for the CSS, you can just copy this. I paste that here, right? And then for the JavaScript, the JavaScript already includes popper.js, right? So it's only one link. So make sure you don't link, you know, separately to popper.js. It's just one link. It's a complete JavaScript bundle. And I'm linking to it in the head here. So I'm using the defer attribute. So it doesn't, it doesn't block parsing the rest of the page, right? So it's actually really important that you have mastered the underlying fundamentals when you work with Bootstrap. Those are both CSS and JavaScript. I have courses on them. If you want to take them to a professional level, check out the links in the description. These are the only two links that you need. So um, if you link to it correctly, try again and see if the hamburger menu is working then. If, that's, if it's still not working, you may actually, um, are, you may be using the wrong data attribute. So for example, I have data BS toggle here, right? So in previous versions, it was data toggle, but in Bootstrap 5, they changed it to data BS toggle, right? So make sure that all of these data attributes have BS in them, also data BS target, right? So then try again. And if it's still not working, then also make sure you, you're um, matching the correct IDs, right? So here it says data BS target and it says something like navbar supported content, right? So that's, let's see, there's some ID here. Yeah, that's, that's this ID. So make sure that wherever, wherever you're using ID, for example, for data target, data BS target, make sure it's matching the uh, actual ID, including the hashtag here, right? Right. You need to include the hashtag here. If that still doesn't work, you can right click inspect and you can go to the console and you have to check for any errors. And if you see any errors, try solving those errors. And if then it still doesn't work, just go to the bootstrap docs. Now be careful when you Google for bootstrap docs, the first link is actually linking to an older version, version four. So make sure you are going to version five and then um, let's see, you can go to the components, right, navbar, and you can just copy one of their basic examples. It will have the correct syntax and everything and the, the correct HTML structure, right? So don't, don't try coding these bigger components from scratch because you're not gonna remember all of the classes, all of the HTML structure. Better to just copy them from the example and then modifying it to get what you want. By the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also, check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level. Because in there, we will build some beautiful real-world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you want to be notified, then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.